Folks, it's not bragging to share your journey. Welcome to Stronger for Life Live. This is Coach Josh Wood down here in Hobart, Tasmania, as per usual, Tuesday afternoon, 2 p.m. How's everyone doing? Now, if you're new here, this is the Strong for Life podcast, all about helping busy, time-poor parents and professionals become strong for life. That's the whole thing. That's what we're doing here. Just trying to get you a little bit more information, a little motivation, some tactics and strategies and thoughts about how to just make your health and fitness a little bit more of a priority. Make it happen. Uh, so welcome, everybody. If you are catching this live, we're doing it through YouTube now, testing that out. So we've got a live stream through YouTube and through the Facebook group, Become Strong for Life, the Facebook group. So please join in there. Otherwise, you can always catch it on most podcast platforms, uh, Apple, Spotify, and Amazon Music. And uh, if you enjoy what you're hearing, please like, rate, review, leave a comment, leave a question. I love questions. Feel free to shoot a message or an email my direction, and I'm happy to chat with you and answer that privately or address it on a future podcast. So hit me up. Let's talk. Let's have a conversation. Now, big thing we've been talking about in the group today, and again, I'm going to try and, and keep these as condensed and, and time efficient as possible. We don't have a lot of time, free time in our lives as parents, and you know, a lot of people aren't catching this in the middle of the day because they're, you know, busy, things going on. But we've been talking about how you communicate your health journey to the people around you. And there's some great, great ideas in there. And I welcome you to, to join the Become Strong for Life Facebook group and join in the conversation there and, and see what people have been coming up with. But a lot of people don't feel comfortable sharing their progress or their journey with those closest to them, which is interesting. So last week, I the whole episode was all about how you are the inspiration. You are the inspiration within your circle, within your community, within anyone who comes across you. When people see that you are out there doing something to make your life better, that makes them see that it's possible. It makes them feel that it's achievable. Uh, and you're more likely to get changes within your, your group, your family, your, your community, if you're setting an example. Not waiting for someone else to set an example, but being the example. Not being an example of perfection. Not becoming an Instagram influencer, but being an example of effort. An example of effort is probably the most important example you can show. Uh, competitions and winning and accolades and doing awesome things is cool too. But when we're talking about what gets people off the couch, it's seeing that the effort is worthwhile. It's seeing that the effort can be taken and it can improve your life almost immediately. So if you haven't listened to that last podcast, go and listen to it. It's all about that. And so that's one aspect. That's one thing we're looking at. Being the motivation for those around you by setting an example. What I've found in the last week since that episode, that folks are sometimes afraid to talk about this with even their family. Uh, I remember one lady I was working with a while back was always getting pushback from her family about the fact that she was watching what she was eating, she was training regularly, she was making that a priority in her life, and she was seeing fantastic results. And that's actually uh, one of our Lean for Life 2023 runner-ups. And that just is, was always astounding to me. And my advice was always, don't listen to that noise. Don't give in to that. We're here to support you. If the people closest to you are not, that's unfortunate. I could probably say harder words about that, but it's unfortunate. But we're here for you. But it's a hard place to be. Uh, and there's sometimes some cultural aspects around it. Here in, in Australia, there's the tall poppy syndrome where it's generally socially frowned upon to be the tall poppy, the one that stands out, the one that's trying to do better, standing above others in their capacity or effort or outcomes uh, because the tall poppy gets the snip first. And I think that's a very, I hate to use this word, but toxic mentality. It is poisonous 
because we want people to rise above to show that rising above can be done. In fact, that is desirable. One of the first things I said on that last podcast too was, fuck average. Average is not acceptable. Average is fat and sick. Average is slow and consistent decline until you can no longer get off the couch. And so when you step out and say, no, nah, I'm, I'm going to choose to get off the couch. I'm going to do something different, whether it's starting up yoga or Pilates or it's starting to do fun runs or whatever it is that brings you joy and health. When you start to actively tell people about that, they see that it's possible. You plant a seed of possibility. And that's a powerful thing. But people run into this thing where they have a hard time talking to those closest. It's almost easier for a lot of people to be that random person on Instagram who posts about their progress. And I think there's a lot of value in accountability doing that and building a new community. And there's a huge amount of support out there. Because there's a lot of people doing the same stuff. A lot of people on the same journey. And that's, we want to support those people. But one of the things that I was uh, chatting with a, a friend about was she was telling people about her journey. And this is a journey that has more to do with substance issues than it does for health. And, well, for, it's definitely health, but more to do with substance abuse issues uh, than fitness. And after a while, she stopped telling her story because she wasn't sure how people were taking it, perceiving it. And... She felt like maybe people thought she was bragging or that uh, she might be trying to get something from it when all she wanted to do was share the story to show that it can be done. To show that it can be done so that others could also potentially take that path. And I know for a fact every time I share part of my story or what I'm working on or the stories of those that I work with, people respond positively they reach out and say this was awesome it's so great to see that this is happening and so as always i, I promote please do that <laughs> i want you to share your story but the idea that sharing your story can be seen as bragging i take issue with that honestly i think we need to learn to differentiate between bragging and pride in the effort you have taken. We love to see it in children. Look at this macaroni picture thing that I made. Oh, it's wonderful. Let me put this on the fridge. We all know it's a piece of crap. It's not art, but we love the effort and pride they get from the effort. They have created something. Why can't we extend that to ourselves and those around us? You don't have to be on the same journey or have the same goals as someone else. But if someone near you is like, check out this thing I did. Look how far I've come. Your first word should be, well done. That's great. Awesome to see. That looks like it took some effort. Great job putting in that effort and getting that shit done. Because that is how we help all people improve. So don't confuse bragging and pride with your accomplishments. Be proud of what you've accomplished, even if it's little, even if it's a tiny thing. You've lost the first centimeter off your waist. You've done your first push-up or you've learned how to bench press. Be proud of that because there are people out there who have been too afraid to take the first steps to even make that much progress. So share that story and be proud of what you've accomplished, even if it's small, because a year later, all those tiny accomplishments become a big accomplishment, something you can be even more proud of, and that when you look back at those photos or those metrics and measurements you took, you will see fantastic progress, and you go, wow, whoa, I can't believe that. And all those little hits of dopamine pride add up to keep you on track, and then you get the ripple effect because other people are seeing it and seeing the progress and seeing how, wow, so-and-so started off just by sitting down and standing up on their couch a few times. Sit stands, sit squat. Cool, you did a few of those. And then you worked to doing real squats. And then now you're doing squats with weights. And 
that positive reinforcement of not just your pride and efforts, but having other people see it and go, wow, well done. We'll help them make that step too. Take those first steps. And explaining the process, explaining what you're doing, sharing it with your community is part of what we need to do. This isn't a solitary thing. We are social creatures and making sure that we are sharing the journey with people of like-minded people would be ideal. Um, sometimes it's a bit of an uphill battle if you're trying to inspire or influence those who are pushing back. But if you have like-minded people in your life, you know, sharing the journey, being a part of a, a run group, you know, having people you help and spot at the gym and sharing knowledge with, all that is part of what makes it worthwhile and it's part of what keeps you going and consistent. You need that human element. And that's really the key is bringing other humans into the community, spreading the community through your effort because you take pride in what you've accomplished and because you share that with the people around you and that will make everyone around you more likely to invest in their own health. And if you don't know where to go with that or how to start, feel free to reach out. Drop a post in the Facebook group or just reach out personally and we can talk about it. But if you're sitting there going, oh, I'm doing this thing and I don't feel like I can care enough about it or somebody else, anybody else cares about it or if it's worthwhile, whatever, just start sharing your story. Start, start sharing your story from a place of, look at me, I took the first step. I feel good about that. I want to share that good feeling with others. Wow, I just took the second step. Amazing. And you're going to slowly find that people will follow along, will join in, or you will join in with others. But I think that communicating the journey you're on, especially to those most important to you, is really, really key to maximizing your potential. But maybe you disagree. I don't know. Tell me about it. That's all I wanted to say today. Take pride in your efforts. Take pride in your accomplishments. It's not bragging if it's not over the top and obnoxious. It's sharing. And sharing positive things brings about more positive things. So have a think. Let me know your thoughts on this. And in the meantime, please, of course, check out at Coach Josh Wood on Instagram and hit me up with any questions you have. You can see what the coaching stuff is all about as well on uh, Strong for Life Online Coaching on Instagram or Facebook. And uh, follow along. Please like, review, subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next week. Until next time, this is Coach Josh Wood down here in Hobart, Tasmania, and let's just keep sharing the journey.